you think of it? Good morning, guys. We are starting off our day here at the Hungarian Academy of Sciences. It is in this amazing Renaissance Revival building. And then we're gonna head across the Danube to see the Buda Castle today. It's gonna be a fun day. So we weren't able to go in. Apparently it's only for invited guests. I'm a little shocked that the embassy didn't call and let them know we were in town. <laughs> Beautiful building, though. We're Rory and April. We are the Great Escapers. oldest vernacular in the world. It was built in 1870 and then destroyed during the war, so it was rebuilt in the 1900s. So excited. It actually works on like a weights and counterweights to pull it up and down the hill, so cool. here at the Buddha Castle, and I'm just impressed by the architecture, like I always am. And the view right across the river at the Pesh side, it's just amazing. just this maze of palaces with tunnels and sculptures and gorgeous architecture again. We were a little amazed by the choice of party music over in the front terrace. Just a little lively atmosphere. I think we were expecting something a little more classical or era music, but they're partying up there. Behind us here is the Sandor Palace where the president of Hungary lives. You can see it's very heavily guarded, and, but we were lucky enough to actually see the changing of the guard right as we came up on the vernacular. So.
It's one of my favorite things, no matter where we are. Well, at least in Europe. I love going to the botanical gardens. <laughs> Not really a flower guy, but it's just so beautiful. And score is the fall. I love autumn colors. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Gorgeous Budapest in the fall. All over your chin. Oh, is it? <laughs> That's so good. Okay. Okay, Ready for the elevator, buddy? I'm gonna go on a date adventure today. Our last couple days in Budapest, all You ready? Make sure I'm out of the way. Oh my gosh. All right. I think we're maxing out the <laughs> weight here, but we're gonna rock in this little tiny elevator. What is the kilogram limit here? Already sweating. Is 250. Two oh no. Holly, you're 50. Well, there's no way we're 100. <laughs> Let's go. What? Somehow Rory has taught him to pee in the dream. It's my greatest accomplishment. <laughs> Good job, Alls. We're going to get Ollie a ticket for the Metro. We still have our pass that lasts through today, but... We're gonna grab him a ticket just in case. We're Two tickets. We're conflicting information, so we'll see. Get your Metro ticket, Ollie. Two tickets for you, buddy. Let me put one away. Wow. <laughs> it's his first ride on the Metro. Here we go. <laughs> Not like in the muzzle situation here. All right, just so we get on. This is Heroes Square. It is one of the largest plazas in Budapest. It houses the Millennial Monument and statues of some of the most important Hungarian national leaders. And behind us, you'll see the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Just so cool and so majestic. They plant pansies like all over the city. Reminds me of my mama and her pansy planting. they modeled this castle here in Budapest after Corvin's castle which we saw in Romania so really cool I still keep saying I wish I had like a princess fairy tale dress to walk through all these castles in you know because we all have our inner five-year-old little girl <laughs>
first walked past this place, I thought it was like my old military tarps. Clearly, it's a lot more upscale. It's the Hungarian House of Music. Oh, it's the Hungarian House of Music. <laughs> It is our last week here in Budapest, Hungary. This month has completely flown by because there is so much to do here in the city. So today we decided to take the tram over to Margaret Island and the weather is gorgeous. The leaves are turning for the fall and it's just a beautiful day. So we have just a few more things left to see on our list here in the city and then we're off to Vienna. Absolutely my most favorite time of the year this fall. Over here in Europe, I feel like I get a good month's worth of the different colors on the leaves and just enjoying the fall weather. Back in Texas, maybe I got a week. I grew up in Pennsylvania, so absolutely love it. This is gonna be a great day. It's a perfect day to walk around. This is St. Michael's Chapel right here in the middle of the park and it is one of the oldest churches in Hungary, actually built in the 1200s and then destroyed by the Turks in the 1500s. But they did a beautiful restoration job in the 1950s, but unfortunately it's closed. And the really cool thing about it is that the bell up in the bell tower is one of the oldest in the whole country of Hungary. So just such a picturesque little beautiful chapel, especially in the middle of the fall leaves. It's really pretty, I wish it was open. One of the things I really love about staying somewhere for a month is that we're able to see things off the beaten path. It's been a really relaxing day in the park. What'd you decide to get? I got some fried turkey with ham and cheese. So we've started off with an appetizer of fried cheese. So we'll see how this goes. And then they serve it with like a really hot homemade sauce. Is it good? Is the sauce hot? Load it up with the heat. Be like Ben Stiller later, sweating. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still sweating. <laughs> You're supposed to get Hungarian food here, babe. What's European? Get you some ketchup, babe. Yeah, now I'm gonna mix it with this fantastic stuff. <laughs> it's like this enormous <laughs> bottle of ketchup. <laughs> And of course, April got chicken, what? Paprikash? Paprikash. <laughs> chicken paprikash? It's a paprika chicken dish. Pretty typical here in Hungary, but I've been dying to try it, so we'll see. We've been eating mostly Asian food, because there's like really good Asian food all over the city. Mm. Really tender, really good, seasoned, excellent. It's kind of a, I don't know, like a crock pot, like southern home cooking. It's really good. Delicious.
early fall, y'all, and we are making us some Texas taco soup. Got some sweet peppers and corn and a fresh ground beef and onion and garlic and actually have taco seasoning here. So we're excited to have some more yummy Tex-Mex comfort food. Happy Tuesday. Thank you.